Hey guys, it looks like the roller coaster Easter egg or Yeti Eye Easter egg on Zombies in Spaceland has now been solved. And big shout out to Marcus Stewart on Twitter. He posted a video showing him actually completing the Easter egg. And we weren't sure if that was the entire Easter egg for the roller coaster. But I've gone in and checked it out. And from the information that Lee Ross has given in the past, yes, this is the entire Easter egg. And there's probably nothing more to it. To complete this Easter egg, you have to collect all five of the soul keys, which means you have to do all five of the main Easter eggs. So Spaceland, Rave, Shallon Shuffle, Attack, and also Beast from Beyond. But you only have to do the Rhino boss fight to get that fifth key. I believe you also have to be in Director's Cut mode, and it's necessary because you need all those points. You get 25,000 points when you start, and you have to have that to get the doors open and get to this roller coaster because this can only be done on round one. I tested it out, and yes, if you're on round two, no, it doesn't work. The thing that you have to shoot to unlock this Easter egg is not here. It's also not here if you don't have the glasses on. And that's what kind of led me to believe, yeah, this is what they were talking about the entire time, what you need the glasses for and the Easter egg that's actually on here. So if you come down this area right here, you're gonna come upon this Yeti that's kind of hanging out of the wall right here. If you're on round one and you have the glasses, you're gonna see a Mephistopheles skull pop up between his eyes. You can see right here I'm on round one and I don't have the glasses on, so it is confirmed you do have to have the glasses. They've got it set up where one of the zombies will always drop glasses on round one. So if you wanna do this Easter egg, make sure you don't end the round and then just find the glasses that one of the zombies drop. Right here I'm double checking to see if I can actually shoot the skull from you know this railing right here and not being on the roller coaster with the glasses on round one, but it doesn't show up. You have to be on the coaster. And here's what the actual like Mephistopheles or devil mask looks like. And it's kind of hard to see because it is in black and white but as long as you aim up high you should be able to hit it and here's footage of me actually getting it so once you get to this downhill area you're gonna start going pretty fast you're gonna go through some doors go ahead and start looking to the right and aiming up high and once you get to the Yeti and you actually shoot it you're gonna see the Easter egg that you get you actually unlock some lobby music and apparently that's all it is so right here you can see director's cut yeah so the director's Cut Challenge, you unlock some lobby music. I believe it unlocks some of the perk machine songs that you can have playing while like you're in the lobby and I'll show you guys where to access that. So there was a lot of hype built around this Easter egg. There was a lot of claims made from Lee Ross and Infinity Ward that it was going to be epic and you know it was going to blow our minds. It was going to be the coolest Easter egg ever and I've made a few videos of some of this being set on social media by them so our hopes were pretty high and our expectations were really up there with this one. I know there will be some people that don't care about this some people will feel let down but I think they did a good job with the whole super Easter egg anyways and so you know it's just kind of like well you know they did the best they could with this I'm sure the first indication that it wasn't going to be as amazing as they claimed it to be was when you finish the zombies in space land main Easter egg in director's cut mode you earn a calling card that says deal with it and it's a yeti with the sunglasses you know they do these like cute little meme calling cards so we were like Please, God, don't let this be a double meaning. Just let them be, you know, focusing on the, the meme that it is. But no, it's definitely meaning deal with the, the Easter egg is not going to be as hyped as, you know, they had once said it would be, is my assumption. We're assuming that there's going to be one on every map. We found one on Rave during a live stream, and we went up to the knife throwing game where you can earn some extra points. And the skull or mask of the devil, Mephistopheles, showed up here. All you have to do is hit it with the knife and you collect it and you get more songs added to your lobby music. The way to access this lobby music and turn it on is to go into barracks and then it's going to say lobby music and you'll see these songs here that you start to unlock. So you can see a lot of the like perk jingles are starting to unlock there. So the Yeti Eye or Roller Coaster Easter Egg isn't really amazing in itself, but as a whole, the Super Easter Egg really is pretty awesome. So I'm definitely not complaining. There at one time might've been plans for this Roller Coaster Easter Egg to be pretty epic or amazing and it got cut and there was some miscommunication in their office. So you never know what's going on. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.